We had a rough ending to the season last year. I mean, I'll never forget it. But a corner, three more by Lamar. What has happened to Virginia? UMBC makes history. It was really hard to deal with that loss because number one, it's never happened before. And number two, we thought that we really had a legit shot at winning a title that year. That loss definitely strengthened the team's bond and chemistry. We're closer than we've ever been. You know, we're owning it, and it's part of our story now. Gardner Webb against the number one seed out of the South bracket, the Virginia Cavaliers. Yeah, this core group who lived with it and went through that experience last year have waited for this. We use it as motivation. If you use it right, then it can buy you a ticket to a place you couldn't have gone any other way. We have another opportunity to do something really special in this tournament. What a start for Gardner Webb. Viani from the wing, knocks down a three. This time Perez from downtown, and they hit another shot, and they're up 10 on Virginia. We came into this game knowing real well we were going to be in for a, a battle. They punched us in the mouth. Gardner Webb's good. Like deja vu all over again. Effiani. Yes. Oh, wow. And I said, don't panic, but play with fight. Don't you dare leave anything in this locker room. You don't panic, but you play the right way. Jerome with the assist. Jerome finds Whoa. his spot and buries the three. Hunter from the wing. Three more for Virginia. Now on a roll. Double digit lead. A 31 point turnaround in this game. I'm sure a lot of people thought it was going to be part of our story a second year in a row. For those guys, a lot of them, you know, were hoping to be in this position again. And, um, and they stepped to the challenge, even though it was a little wobbly at times. We're underway in Columbia. Goodness. Underneath and scoring is Mamadi. Back to Mamadi. Oh. Mamadou. Bob. Oh. Mamadi. Doolittle trying to back in over nice. Mamadi, and he's blocked. Virginia basketball alive and well in the NCAA tournament. It's the Sweet 16, the Oregon Ducks, the 12th seed, and the top-seeded Virginia Cavaliers. It's a great pass, no look, and the two-handed jam. Look at Kihei Clark. Oh, what a floater. Here's Jerome, and the three is good. The Hoos are back on top. Inside, Hunter, wide open. That will do it. The Virginia Cavaliers are moving on to the Elite Eight. What a night it is going to be tonight. The Big Ten's Purdue Boilermakers, the ACC's Virginia Cavaliers for the trip to the Final Four. And there's Edwards for three. Edwards again. He's got another one. Diakite. Two-handed jam. Clark gives it up. And Diakite with the layup. 13-5 Virginia run. Purdue by a point as we hit the half. Jerome. That one is going to go. And a foul. Guy for three, and another one is true. Edwards, a long range three. Oh, okay. Edwards for three, yes. Carson Edwards doing his thing. Just an epic performance by him tonight. Here's Edwards for the lead. Oh, and hit the window on that glass. Jerome, short, back tap, Diakite, a race for it. Into the hands of Clark. Up the front, it's Diakite. It goes for the tie, Diakite. Squares it at 70. A heavyweight battle in Louisville. Jerome splits it. Jerome will high off the window. He scores. Under goes to work on Eifert. Powers his way in. What a bucket. Carson Edwards looking at the clock. And a bad pass. And it's turned over. And that's it. Virginia advancing to the Final Four for the first time since 1984. No one knows what this team's been through. I do, and it's good. It was definitely flashing back to when I was on my knees last year. I did it again, and I was just, just overflowing with joy. So happy for my teammates and my coaches and, and for myself to be able to, you know, break through. To finally quiet the critics <laughs> feels great. If you learn to use it right, the adversity, it will buy you a ticket to a place you couldn't have gone any other way. We were not going to lose this one, and that was what I knew.